All right, Bobby's Vegas. Today we're going to check out a Las Vegas institution on Las Vegas Boulevard, right across from Resorts World. It's the famous Pepper Mill. Let's go get a burger. It's going to be awesome. Hot tip, you can usually find a spot at the bar when you can't get a table. You can usually just walk right up there and get a spot. So if you're by yourself. Okay, you got a cool little vibe here. A lot of music in here, so I can't let it go. But this, is a, this is the back fireside lounge. This is a cool hang. Now, it's the middle of the night on Wednesday, so there's nobody here. But yeah, this, this, is, this is where the bar tops are, bar. This is where you want to come with a date. This is fun. Okay, we're in here inside the Pepper Mill. Very famous Las Vegas place because it's been in movies, it's been talked about. And it's one of those kind of touristy places you got to go. Now on Bobby's Vegas, I like to try to go to the non-touristy kind of places for locals. But even as a local, I like to come here all the time. And I guess I brought friends from Dallas. I got Chris. I got Omar. These You've seen these guys on my other channel, on the Video Bob channel. They work at Bob's Prop Shop in Dallas, Texas, and they're here in Vegas for the holidays. And um, and I was there's been a bunch of times that we've been out to eat, and I was like, at the end of it, I go, I should have filmed that for the channel. So I thought, since we're here at the Pepper Mill, there's, I don't know exactly what they're most famous for, probably their breakfasts. They do these giant breakfasts, giant omelets. I like their burger. My favorite is the Primal Burger. And uh, Omar over there, what did you get? You got crab cake, Benedict. Egg. This, look at this thing, hold on. Look at this thing, let me zoom in on this. These are crab cake, Benedict. I mean, wow, and it's got some ketchup going on on the hash browns. Oh, with an English muffin. With an English muffin, yeah, of course. They're the Egg Benedict, right? Now you've got the other half of my Primal Burger because I just can't eat the whole thing. Right. People watch me on this channel. They think I can eat all this stuff. I really can't. So this is the Primal Burger. You've got you got your hamburger in there. You've got grilled mushrooms and onions, but you've got a fried egg on there. And I've told you how much I love a fried egg on a burger and the fries. Of course, the egg is spilling out onto my fries. So we're, we're sharing a plate. We're going to share a plate because the portions here are generally pretty huge. I love a nice, you, you know how I feel about a bun, right? Soft, pillowy kind of cake-like bun. Right? I like that. And uh, don't wait on me, Omar. Knock that thing out. He's like, yeah, go you over need to know how it tastes. So, it's good. And this is how I do the show. I just put my phone on the table. Usually I carry a tripod with me. I think there's a tripod on the car. I don't know. Oh, there might be. But I, I carry a tripod and a microphone with me just in case I'm going to... Because I don't plan these out, usually. Usually, I'm driving around and I go, that place looks good. I'm hungry. Let's go in. Um, I always pay for my food. I never accept comps, and I never let them know that I'm doing what I'm doing. I try to be as covert as possible. So, like, if you watch Keith Lee doing his shows on uh, TikTok, because if, you don't want to influence them. You don't want them to know what you're doing. You don't want any special treatment. The problem with being a food reviewer is if you do get big like Keith Lee, then you can't go anywhere. They know who you are. I don't think that's gonna happen with me, but here we go. I love this thing. This is great. There it is. That's my thumbnail. Okay. Here it is. I mean, half of it's a full meal. Wow. Check out golden napkins right here. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, the bun is amazing. The bun is really important. Yeah. I talk about the bun because it the texture has to be good. You know, there's brioche and I don't like pretzel buns. And even though I love the taste of the sourdough buns. They're too hard and chewy and crunchy or whatever. And when you're trying to bite in, everything squirts out the side. And that's why I think that the Gordon Ramsay burger is, is one of the best because the consistency of the bread and the meat, you can just slice through that thing with a butter knife. It's just, it's like eating a piece of cake made out of hamburger. And that, it, it, that texture is what they get, you know, Every part of the little ham, every little part of the hamburger, the tomato, like 
if I bite into a burger and the whole onion comes out or the lettuce falls out, I don't like that, right? It needs to stay together. You don't want the thing exploding into a mess of crap on the plate every time you take a bite. It's like when you get a Taco Bell taco, you take a bite, it just explodes into a, you know, a mess. You don't want that. Yeah, I did notice that, that it stays together. Yeah. Like nothing's falling out. Now, they've got a chipotle aioli, I think it is, right? Yes. On the Primal Burger. They said it's one of their most popular ones. This appears to be an onion bun. So what they've gotten is that when they bake the bun, it's got little bits of onion on it. The fries, I believe, are coated. They're very good. They're not crazy good like those ones I got at Snappy Burger the other day. Those were good. These are they're a little limp, but they're good. They don't suck. So if you come in on the, obviously they need to change the grease. There's nothing better than catching a place on the fresh grease day. I used to own a restaurant and I used to spend extra money to fry all my stuff in peanut oil. The problem with that though, is that it eliminates anyone with a peanut allergy from eating in your restaurant, which is a rare thing. Um, most restaurants just use regular canola oil, frying oil. There's one particular place in town, How's though. everything tasting so far? Very good. Very good. Right. Oh. Another diet? Sure. There's one place in town, and I think probably the only place in town that actually uses real lard. And that's the Heart Attack Grill on Fremont Street. It used to be all fried foods were done in animal fat and tallow and lard. And then as things were industrialized, they started doing everything in canola oil, vegetable oil, which is basically petroleum. You could probably put it in your car and drive home on it. <laughs> it's not good for you. And we're used to that flavor because it's kind of clean and it doesn't really alter the flavor. But anybody old enough to remember the good old days when you would get fries and things that were cooked in lard, when you would get fried chicken from KFC or wherever and it was cooked in genuine lard, that was the best. Here we go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is a kind of an expensive place. Relative, not, I mean, listen, compared to Vegas, not expensive, okay. I'm not talking about, what was this burger? I think it was 26 bucks. So, 23, something like that. Yeah. And then you're gonna have a drink. Now, I do recommend splitting. <laughs> Unless you're one of these people that eats like a lot. Hmm. I wonder who that could be. So, you know, me and my wife more often than not, we'll do one of two things, being that we live here. Because the portions in Vegas are just huge. We will either order something that keeps well. So we will order based on what we're doing later. Like if we're eating first and then going to a show, you don't want to order something to go because it's going to be sitting in the car and getting gross, smelling up your car. I always put it in the trunk because I don't want my car smelled up, okay? And it doesn't matter what you order. Like if you're getting pasta, never get rice to go. You don't want rice sitting around. That's bad for you. Um, so, if, if, you, if you're not going to go right home with your leftovers, try to find something that you both will eat that you can split. Sometimes certain restaurants will charge a, a, a splitting fee, a plate fee, but that's kind of a rare occurrence. So in this situation, we're splitting the burger, and so now that means instead of paying, you know, 25 bucks for a burger, we're only paying each, you know. 12 bucks for a burger, which is still expensive, but that's McDonald's pricing. And I'm having a pretty awesome hamburger. But you can expect to spend an average of about 30 to $40 per person when you come here for whatever you're gonna get. So you have four people, it turns into a $200 bill real fast. If you start ordering the cocktails and the drinks, the cocktail waitresses will come by. They're very beautiful, by the way. So they, they get you to buy those drinks because they whine you and dine you with, their, with their, their cuteness. Next thing you know, get a glass of this, a glass of that. You can easily drop 300 bucks on four people coming in here having lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever. So you just gotta be 
kind of smart with your money, unless money's not an object to you. If money's no object, object to you, you can just have a blast here. Mm. Still working? No, uh, I'm gonna have a little box. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Are you done here? I think I'm done. I'll do one more for you. Don't let me rush you. Good. You do me a favor. That's really the secret: is getting your stuff to go or sending it out. You have to learn how to waste food here. Otherwise, you're gonna be a big fat pig. Kind of a view of this place. It's just so colorful. Got his to go. There he is. He's like, don't film me. There we go. We go. We're ready. There she is. Oh, I'm fat. Sing me the song of it, people. This is where the check engine light comes on because it's a Rolls. It's a BMW product. There it is. That's what I was looking for. I knew it was in there. Service engine soon. Of course. That's that's just what happens. <laughs> BMW ownership. 